Today we're going to do some operations on functions given a graph. So our first graph, uh, graph is a uh, function f of x, and we're going to be finding f of negative 2. And our other function is g of x. We'll call that our red function. And we're going to be finding g of 1, and we're going to be doing a subtraction. So when you find f of negative 2, we simply find uh, the value uh, where, uh, where x is equal to negative 2 of the function and evaluate the y value. So looking at the black function f of x, where it's equal to negative 2 is right there. I'll draw a little uh, point there. That's f of negative 2. And notice that the y value of f of negative 2 is 0. So f of negative 2 is equal to 0. When we look at g of 1, that's the red function. And that's where uh, x is 1. If you notice where x is 1, y is 1. And so we simply say uh, g of 1 is 1. So it becomes 0 minus 1. And you know that 0 minus 1 is negative 1. And that is our answer. In our second example, we're going to find f circle g of 1. And we might remember that f circle g of 1 really means f of g of 1. Keeping the color coding, where f, the function f is black and uh, the uh, g function is red. If we evaluate g of 1, which we actually did in the previous example, we notice that g of 1... Uh, when x is 1, g is also 1. The value of y is 1. So, therefore, this becomes f of 1. And now we have to evaluate f of 1. Well, where x is equal to 1, the f function, the black function, is right there at 3. So therefore, f of 1 is equal to 3. And that is our answer. In our next problem, we are going to find g circle f of negative 2. So going with what we've done before, that means g of f of negative 2. And now we have to evaluate f of negative 2. Well, f of negative 2, if we go over on our board, on our graph, at ne when x is negative 2, y is 0. We've done that one already. And so this becomes g of 0. And g of 0, we simply look when uh, x is 0, what is the value of g? And you might notice that it's right there at the origin. So when x is 0, y is 0. So g of 0 becomes 0. And that is our answer. And a final problem, we're going to find f divided by g of 0. And once again, what that means is f of 0 divided by g of 0. So now we simply have to find f of 0. We'll make that g of 0 red to be consistent with our color coding. And f of 0, that's when x is equal to 0. And when x is equal to 0 on the, the black function, f of x, y is 2. So we know we have 2 for f of 0. And for g of 0, when x is 0, we've done this before, y is 0 right there on our red function, or g of x. And therefore, we put 0. And we know that we cannot have a 0 in the denominator. And so therefore, this is undefined.
And that is our answer.